and welcome back to a DIY tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly set up a landing page, a very simple, uh, clean landing page that um, is going to convert. Now, if you've never heard of fast pages, it's the new guys on the block, but they are really, really good. They're simple, clean, and lightning fast, which is exactly what any small business owner who wants to quickly get things up and running, any marketer, any freelancer, anyone who just needs a quick way to capture information, I'm gonna show you how quick you can get something up and running. Now, if you um, have never heard of Fast Pages and you want some more information and what's not, uh, click on the link in the description, which will take you to the review video where I actually um, create a video uh, reviewing it before I've even tried the software out. Um, so there's a lot more information in that and you're probably really going to enjoy it. Also, you will find a 97% discount link in the description, which will give you a lifetime offer for this. Um, but let's get started because uh, it's a good software. <laughs> okay, so this is the dashboard and we want to create a new project. So head over to projects and click new. Now we've got all these templates here, but I'm going to do a blank page just to prove how easy it really is. Now, the first sort of thing that I want, um, I'm gonna want a logo there. And uh, I've just realized I've not actually got a logo for you, but um, that's okay. So what you can see on the left is you've got the save, you've got pages, sections, appearance, SEO settings, code injection, and the menu. Now, we're not really going to be focusing on all of this because the objective of this is more uh, just to convert leads and what's not, so we just want something really simple. So I'm gonna to click on here, and you can see you've got all these options and pre-made things and all this cool stuff. Uh, I'm going to add a blank section in, just like so. I'm gonna click on this little plus icon and this is going to open up all these little widgets and you've got a bunch of stuff, including a quiz feature, which we'll cover in another video. So I'm going to click on image and that's now going to be my logo. And uh, I'm now going to create a new section and I'm going to add another blank section and I want to put in a title. So I'm going to do text and what should we, what should we say? Um, 10, tips to blow up your online lead generation um, this week, okay? And now if I double click on the text, you can see I can actually, uh, this little um, pop-up comes up and I can change it. So I'm going to change it to heading one because it's gonna be my main focus. So I've got something in my eye. Um, and I'm going to make it bold. And now I'm going to center it. So you can see already, boom, just like that. But I actually wanna make it bigger. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here and I'm gonna make it huge. And that is a nice size. Now, um, do we want to do anything else with it? We can change the color, uh, we can underline it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, what I actually will do, um, I'm going to do online lead generation this week, and I'm going to underline this bit and make that italic. So, uh, and I'm also going to highlight this and just remove that. So that's a little bit thinner. Um, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now the next bit, I want to create a, another section with two columns in it. And to do that, I'm going to click on this, back to blank section, two columns. And in this one, I'm going to create an image and uh, that should really be an ebook or something. Let's see if I can find just a quick one online. And here I want to add some more text. Now, um, yeah, so text just like so. In this uh, ebook, you will discover our top 10 tips to um, create more leads and sales for your online business. Okay. And then I'm going to, again, highlight it, center it. Oh, that's not centered. 
center, make it a little bit bigger, maybe H2. And I'm going to bold that as well. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more text by saying enter your email address below. Um, but <laughs> that's it. And again, we're just going to center this and then make it a little bit bigger like so and we want to add a form in so the form is there and you can see boom just like that you've got the form and if you click on the cog you can actually see what sort of form is it drop down you can add more fields and what's not but i'm just going to stick to email and uh, you can see the plus icon adds more fields and what's not so that's cool Okay, so that's the form. Let's go quickly find an ebook. So I'm going to go ebook, uh, PNG images, and why not? I'm just going to save image as. Just going to save that to my desktop. Save back here. Image. Click on this area here now upload the image and then there you go you've got that like so okay so what else can we do um let's add a spacer because i want to align this a little bit so i'm just going to drag this all the way to the top just like that and that's actually looking a bit better okay so i want to see what this actually looks like now so i'm going to save and i'm going to preview Now the image isn't showing, so it could just be my computer's being a little slow. Let's try that again. Save, preview. Okay. Okay, I think my computer's being a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to publish the page. By clicking the publish, publish project. I'm just going to keep everything the same, confirm. Confirm. Oh, I need to change the. Okay, so tester, confirm. Okay, so that's now been changed. I'm going to enter this here. Okay, so that's looking good. And remember, I need to put in a logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to find a quick logo. Uh, logo. Images. And you know what? Firefox is the lucky person. So we're going to use Firefox, head over here, and we want to go back to projects, edit. We're going to upload a new logo, like so. And now that's very big, so let's change the size of it. Size, so you'd click on the image. Click on this double edge arrow and then change it. 50%, still a little too big. Let's change it smaller, 10%. There we go, that looks perfect. Now, what you can also do, you can actually change the, um, so if I wanted to flip these two things around, these two elements, bang, just like that. You just click this little arrow to the right and that will do so. And if you click this, if you wanted to add a background image, now I'm not going to, um, but let's just pretend. And then can you see this is now adding a cool background, but I'm going to remove that. If you wanted more padding or anything like that, again, just click on um, modify padding. And then you can see that's a nice little way. Close and let's save. Okay, brilliant. And now the final thing that I want to do, well, one of the final things I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of text um, just below here. So let's add a section, one, move this out of the way. And now uh, just some text, okay. We will never share, never share your information with third parties. Okay, now we're just going to center this, make this a little uh, it's a bit too small, just small. Okay, 
and we will save it again and publish okay refresh the page there we go so that's actually looking really really nice uh, so what we want to happen now is we want to redirect people when they enter their information uh, to a new page perhaps a uh, an upsell or anything on those lines so let's head back to the uh, project press edit and where it says pages on the left we're going to click on that we're going to create a new page and we're going to change the page title to thank you okay great page now we're going to add uh, a blank section this here um, we're going to add a text just saying thank you we're going to center line it make it bigger make it huge okay now we're going to um, add some text before you go before you go we have an exciting offer for you today only and i'm just going to make this bold and then center align it again oh keep doing that center make it a little bit bigger okay and uh, you know what let's change the color to there we go okay now let's also add a image and i'm just gonna get a present we're gonna take all this uh, this looks good let's save image click on the image icon upload christmas presents a bit like that that's nice that will get people's attention but it's still a still a little bit too big so let's make this smaller and i'm going to make it 30 percent uh, make it a bit bigger 40 okay and let's add a button okay let's align it by clicking the cog icon of it like that and um something the lines of uh, download your oh, what happened there download your present here okay and then again now you've got a choice you can do a link or a pop up now let's just say you've got something on amazon or you've got a your core website or anything you would simply enter your core website here and then bank um and then when they click on that they'll actually be sent there um today so for you with an exciting offer today only uh, and i'm going to duplicate this okay get our complete course uh get our complete marketing and lead generation course for only 9.99 okay and let's make this again a little bit bigger let's get up there we go okay just like that download your present here and then um that will take them to whatever payment page you've got going on. So let's save this and let's go back to pages by clicking the pages icon and go to home. And now when they enter their information, let me just change this. So this one's going to be email, okay? And uh, let's go here. So medium, large, that's cool. Um, Okay. Sorry, I go into my own little world sometimes. <laughs> so once they've clicked the submit button, what's going to happen is now you've got, if you want to sync it with your Google Sheets or whatever, you've got um, MailChimp and Zapier integrations. Zapier is a third party 
uh, website that actually connects like a million and one apps together. So that's really handy. Uh, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the URL and change made. Yes, we'll just put yes. Okay. Why is this not working? Okay, and then you do a slash thank you, just like so. Thank Okay, so let's save this now. Oh, that's not saving. Let's click the save button. Let's go to publish. Okay, let's refresh this page. Okay, so let's do test and test at hotmail.com, submit, redirected instantly, and you can see they're at the thank you page. Now, before we finish the video, I also want to show you. Uh, if we go back to the project, click edit, you will be able to see on the left hand side, you've got sections. If you wanted to move these sections above or below like that. And also if you've got Google Analytics or anything, you'll just simply enter all of that in the side here and your SEO settings. So your page title is going to be free ebook. Um, if you've got keywords, you'll just enter your keywords here. Description, download your free ebook here. Okay, if you've got a favicon, you'll just uh, upload it just like there. And let's, um, that's actually everything. So save. And also, uh, what you'll see, which is a really nice little touch. If we go back, we just publish that, and we go back um, to dashboard, you can now see uh, I've been on that page four times and they've even tracked it. If we go to project, actions, view leads, you can see it actually tracks the leads for you and you can manage it or delete it. So delete and then bang, just like that. Uh, so hopefully uh, this has helped you a little bit um, this is a really easy way to get started with fast pages um, you know it really is ideal for anyone who just wants to really quickly get things up and running um, I do have a discount link in the description so make sure you click on that if you want a lifetime access uh, for 97 percent off which is nice uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment area. And um, thanks for watching.